welcome back to real time chat series and if you want to have a great project listed in your resume this is the great project so in this episode we are going to learn about how we can use the laravel echo to actually listen for the events we are broadcasting so with that i am your host sarthak this is a channel where i talk about laravel and the cool thing about laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like bit fumes on facebook twitter and instagram so let's open our project and here we have these events we are broadcasting on this chat channel so if i go to the broadcasting documentation we have listening for the events so we have to listen this event system on our app.js so here we have to create one thing called mounted and whenever anything is mounted we have to run this laravel echo okay echo dot channel channel name is obviously the chat and listening for which event chat event okay so whatever we are getting as a e we are going to console log okay so let's go and let's create a new event here i will say channel name is chat event name is chat event and message from sarthak to hello big fumes send event sending the event is successful but we are not getting anything because here we are using channel but if i open chat event you can see it's a private channel not only the channel so instead of this i will say private but if i make the channel private we have to authorize the channel so for that we have to open the routes folder like we have web.php similarly we have channels.php and you can see one channel is already there but we want to create our channel so broadcast colon colon channel and here the channel name chat then the function and that function will just returning true okay then save it and let's just comment this and let's see what the result we are getting if i refresh you can see it says couldn't get the auth info that is because of this so when i uncomment this channel refresh here internal error and unexpected here semicolon i have forgotten okay reload yeah we don't have any kind of error here so that's good so now let's go here and i will say localhost slash send and here we are getting the things hello and uncle because we are receiving this so yeah here it is so clear this once more refresh here we are having this message and user as ankur here and console logged here okay so now as our broadcasting and receiving system is correctly working let's do all these things with view js and axios so here we have this send method and in this send method i want to send the message via axios so let's go to chrome and type axios and you will get this github repository go here and we don't have to install because it's already installed because if you go to resources bootstrap and here you can see it's uh, using the axios so we don't worry about it okay so we just want the post request thing so post part is here copy this and now i have to paste it okay and as we have decided the route is send but for testing we have made this route as a get but now let's make it a post and as we have make it as a post route we have to change our controller also so chat controller uncomment this one comment this one and it's good okay so let's go to where is that yeah here what we need to pass we need to pass actually our message so i will say here message is this dot message okay we are passing this 
and now let's use ES2016 so response will double head arrow and this will work similarly error with double head arrow so console lock whatever we are getting on the controller so let's controller and here let's just return whatever we are getting so return request all okay so here we have we are console logging everything so go refresh let's type hey and you can see we are returning having data message as null uh, it's not giving that so because we are uh, making the message as null so I think we have to make it null only after console log okay so reload I will say hey and now you can see the data having the message of hey okay so we are getting this thing that's very nice now we have to listen this and whenever we are listening we have to push the data or the message into this chat message similarly we as we are doing here so if I go here and reload and type anything and this is actually the broadcast receive part okay so we are having the message that means e dot message so I will say here not this dot message I will say e dot message okay so comment this and reload so I will say hey one and two that is because first one is I have tied second one is coming from the broadcast here is the problem I don't want this I want only to be broadcasted to others not to me so we just have to do one thing it's very easy go to event chat event and here after this I will say dollar this arrow I will say don't broadcast to current user okay and that should be a function okay and now if I reload I will say hey only one is here but how we will see that everything is working so I will open incognito window and same thing localhost slash chat and sign in with uh, Sarthak so Sarthak at gmail one two three four five six and I am here so let's just move this like this okay so here what I need refresh one more here one more here okay so I will say hey and you can see it says hey here and here also okay but obviously if I receive the message I want to have some other color and this is not you this is the actual the username so for that we have to open this component of the message and instead of you I have to say user and that user will be a prop which we get from our parent component so parent component is here but how we will get the user because we don't have the user information for each of the message so let's do one thing for this chat object define a user array also okay so whenever we are receiving the data then we will give one thing more which is called user information push dot user okay so this is nice and user information is here but this if this message is sent from myself I have to give same thing user dot push and here I have to say you okay so if I send message then the user is you if I receive message then the username will come okay so reload here and here also so I will say hey it's not giving anything let's see what happened so console here do one thing let's open this view tab message okay we have not defined message on the component so 
what we need we need to define here the message so I will say user is equal to obviously chat dot user but chat dot user is an array so we have to give the index and this index is actually the index of chat dot message obviously if the message number is one then obviously user number has to be one okay so this is the way we are implementing this so reload this reload this let's save it and type here hey and here is you but here is Ankur okay next thing change the color of this received color okay so in the message dot view we have this color and we are hard coding this as a success let's define color also so again one more array called color and if I provide that message then the color will be let's say success so instead of that I will say color dot push but if I receive a message I have to say here let's say warning and that should be color okay and this means again we have a new array and new array will have the same kind of system so again once more reload I will say hi and here in the root you will see we have array of color message and user and each one has one 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 so for the first message the user is you and color is success so success spelling is big mistake <laughs> so save it now similarly as we are passing the user info so chat dot color and again the index so that should be colon and now reload reload here so I will say hey and here it's warning and it's by uncle so I will say here hi and you and it's by Satak Shrivastava so this is very cool but in the next episode we are implementing the typing part we are implementing the time part the actual the time of sending the message and obviously much more the next video is going to be an awesome video so if you have any doubt you are free to message me and if you have learned anything from bitfumes and you want to support then you can just become my patron on patreon.com you can donate one dollar or more so that i can create the more quality content for you only and don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram Okay, we will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.